a utility field crew is being sent out to assess the damage after the storm has passed. Now in my upper right you see my location and here you see four notifications and a damage assessment that I've previously created. Critigen co-developed this capability in the locations tab with SAP. We've extended that capability to create a damage assessment use case which I'm going to show you and I'll show you some base functionality that ships out of the box. So now that I have my location relative to here, I can set what's called show near me, which is a geofence, to show me all of the objects within a mile radius. When I turn it on, you'll see that these objects fall within the mile radius. And if I click on the list icon here, you see I have one damage assessment and two notifications. The other thing I can do is I can turn, first I'll turn off the near me, and then what I'll do is get driving directions. And to get driving directions, I click on a notification, say this one here, and I click the car. Now, one thing I want to point out is this is the notification ID coming out of SAP EAM or LAM. And here is the OMS information fed by the outage management system when it created the notification inside of EAM. So when I click on the car, Esri will give me the driving directions. There's the route. Click on this, and I get turn-by-turn -turn navigation. I'll exit out. Now that I know how to get to where I need to go, I click this icon and it will zoom in to the area with the notifications and the one damage assessment. So this is a notification that I want to get a damage assessment for. And as I pointed out, here's the ID and OMS number. And what I want to do is I want to see what assets from the utility are, are around me. And these are stored as feature services in, in Esri ArcGIS server, or ArcGIS online. And here are the 12 uh, layers we're pulling in, or feature services. So I'll turn on polls, my service locations, primaries, overhead, overhead, substation, and finally transformer banks. So now what, you're, what you see with me as part of the crew is I know what's around me. I don't need a separate app. I don't need paper maps. This information is being pulled out of ArcGIS server in this case. This is a capability that Critigen added to the base uh, control. Now, many utilities have over 75 layers or feature services, including location of other utilities' assets like sewer, water, telco, gas. And so as a crew doing repairs, having that information means I'm less likely to create an outage by cutting a phone line, for instance. Uh, and so I have complete awareness of what's around me. And so I'm looking at this particular notification, and I see uh, there's a service uh, access point, and I click on it. And what you see here are metadata values coming out of ArcGIS server. This ID is out of ArcGIS server, and so is the rest of this information. And I've identified that the service location is damaged because uh, a tree fell on it. And so I want to create a damage assessment. I do that by clicking this arrow, and I click Damage Assessment. Now, look at what's happened here. I have the notification number from EAM. I have the service location, the ID of the asset from the GIS system inside a work manager. Because I have both sets of information inside of the app itself, when I create the damage assessment, I don't need to remember this stuff. I don't need to key it in. It's automatically put together for me. And these pull-down lists are coming out of EAM. So these values are always the most current values retrieved out of SAP EAM. So from a training perspective, training is greatly reduced. Mutual aid is improved because I can use SMP to not only provision the devices, but those crews don't have to memorize anything because all of the values are supplied at the time they're creating the damage assessment. So this was due to wind. Repair code, I need to do some work. It's high priority. And the tree report, I need to uh, uh, remove the tree. And I type in a description, tree fell on access point or service point. Remove tree, restore service. So if you look at what's happened here, uh, a field worker 
is entering very little data. They're selecting from pull downs. So this is the increase in the workflow efficiency because the map is in the app. The map is driving the workflow and also the reduction in errors because I'm not asking the people to memorize things and, and key them in. Final thing I'm going to do is add a photo. Now, if they were out with a tough book or an iPad, they could take a picture. In this case, I'll just pick this nice fire. And uh, there it is. And I'll create the damage assessment. And now that I've created the damage assessment, there it is right here. See in this cluster. And if I click on this list here, I will see the damage assessment I just created. And I click on it, and there it is. So I've just shown you how easy it is for a field worker to go out, see what assets are around them, not carry a separate app, not carry paper maps, not have to memorize things, and easily create a damage assessment. So now that I've shown you online, because Work Manager handles the uh, offline capability for the transactional data, Critigen has created the offline capability using the ESRI SDKs for the GIS data. So now I'm going to show the offline capability uh, that we put into uh, Work Manager and you'll notice this new icon here has a green dot which means that I'm online and the way that you determine what GIS capabilities are made available offline is you set the size of the viewport, which is what's visible in the window, and you click on offline data, and then you tell it to get the content. Now I'm not going to pick this now, I've already done it. And, and so now that I have made that content available offline, I can click this icon and it will I'll get a message that says you're off the internet, so you're not going to get some functionality, and I click OK. And notice I now have a red dot in here indicating I'm offline. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out and you will notice that I don't have the entire uh, set of assets available for this area. I only have what was in the viewport. And so the way that I can show that I am indeed offline is I go online. And when I go online, these areas here on the sides and the bottom will fill in. And there you go. So what I've demonstrated is uh, the capability of caching uh, the feature services on the device. So that way between the transactional data offline capability already in Work Manager and this capability, your crews will be able to work offline. So to wrap up the use case, Work Manager with the spatial capabilities that come out of the box with additional capabilities that Critigen added on top of that for a field crew to be able to see feature services that their utility has available. And I've shown the offline ability to cache those feature services so the crew can truly work disconnected.